Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pager here once again with another video on Legends of Tomorrow Season 3, and this is going to be my trailer breakdown for Episode 9, otherwise known as the mid-season finale, otherwise entitled uh, Bebo, the God of War, I think it's called, which is just, just, just strange. But of course, before we get into the rest of the video, let's actually watch the trailer. There is a war coming, and history needs you to be ready. We're dealing with some kind of blue god. Is that Martin? Our god hungers for battle! We are not letting America go Viking. DC's Legends of Tomorrow, mid-season finale, Tuesday, 9, 8 central on The CW. So last episode, not being the crossover, but episode seven was a pretty, you know, okay episode. Like it was probably the one of the lesser impressive episodes of Legends of Tomorrow this season, but it did introduce Grodd and the fact that Grodd would be teaming up with Damien Dark, Kawasa, and most likely Malice. So that was pretty cool. I don't know if we're going to see Gorilla Grodd this episode. I think that was more setting up for future events later in the season, but nevertheless, might I say, it still set some stuff up. So it wasn't a complete waste of an episode, and I thought the CGI was pretty good. But of course, before we get into the actual breakdown of the trailer, we will quickly go over the synopsis because it does reveal some pretty interesting things that aren't even revealed in the trailer because the trailer is pretty vague in regards to revealing things so um yeah but of course before that be sure to let me know in the comments section down below what you're looking forward to most in this episode because there is one or two things which are pretty interesting i'm pretty sure a lot of people are looking forward to them but um yeah just leave them in the comments section down below as well as being sure to leave a like on the video if you're going to enjoy it and subscribing to the channel if you're new rattled by recent events the legends dive into work which finds them investigating an anachronism in a viking settlement in the new world the legends realize that the Norsemen are worshipping an artifact as their god and are surprised by the artifact's origin. For the first time, Sarah is worried that they might need backup when Damien Dark shows up. Meanwhile, Jax finds a loophole that could potentially change history, but it is a risk he is willing to take. So the first thing I want to mention that is sort of alluded to in the synopsis, but not even alluded to at all in the trailer, is the fact that Constantine... Yes, John Constantine is in this episode, and he's going to be in this episode and episode 10, which is actually the mid-season premiere, so we're waiting a while between the episodes to get Constantine back for the second one, but it's Constantine nonetheless, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Now, the reason he is brought in is sort of, um, you know, sort of hinted at in the trailer, just like for the first time, Sarah is worried that they might need backup when Damien Dark shows up, so I'm assuming Damien Dark shows up. And he's pretty powerful and the legends really have no chance or at least going to struggle a lot to sort out this anachronism and what's going on in the new world. Obviously, we know the Vikings or the Norsemen might I say are worshipping this artifact. I wonder if it's like the totem that Damien Dark used to like draw his power from and stuff like that. That'd be pretty interesting if that's the case. But nevertheless, Constantine is going to be brought in and hopefully it's for a good reason. But even if it was for a crap reason, it's Constantine. So it's going to be cool seeing him interact with the legends and stuff like that. And I'm wondering when he's going to show up in this episode, because just the way that the trailer is cut, it seems like a lot of that might be in like the first half. So they might bring in Constantine around the halfway point. So I'm looking forward to that. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are as well. But speaking of characters that are in this episode that aren't in the trailer is that Citizen Cold is going to be with the Legends in this episode and also episode 10, I'm pretty sure. So when Constantine's in this uh, Legends universe, so is Citizen Cold. And I think Citizen Cold is leaving after episode 10, but don't quote me on that. He might be there for episode 11 as well. But it's going to be cool seeing Citizen Cold there because I enjoyed him a lot in the crossover. He's such a different form of Leonard Snart or Leo Snart as he likes to be called. So I'm looking forward to seeing him interact with the team and also just time traveling as well. It's got to be awesome. But the main gist of this episode that we get from the trailer is that it's the Legends versus the Vikings. I think this is going to be pretty cool. It does seem like they're taking a lot of their inspiration maybe from the Vikings TV show that is fairly popular. So I am interested to see like all the interactions and it's just the way that the Legends dress up because we do get a couple of shots of like specifically Nate and uh, Ray and they're definitely uh, embracing the time period and, and dressing like Vikings and even Sarah looks like she could be like a Viking queen if you want to call it that. Now some of you might have noticed this but Agent Sharp of the Time Bureau is joining in on this episode so I don't know the reason for that it might be because the legends are down Martin and you know Jax can't go firestorm so that might be why she's joining in just to help them up to make up the numbers a bit or maybe there is a complete reason for it maybe they see this as a really high anachronism and she has to join in just to make sure the legends get it right so maybe she's like supervising i'm not too sure i'm you'd hope that it gets explained in the episode but for my guess it's either to make up the numbers to help because martin's not there anymore and there's no firestorm or she's there because it's such a high level anachronism that she has to help out so those are my two guesses but let me know if you agree with me in the comments 
But speaking of the anachronism, we actually find out that this anachronism is actually a younger Martin Stein by the looks of it. And that's pretty heavy. We've just lost Martin in the crossover and now we've got to deal with a younger version of himself. This is going to be very interesting to see the, how it plays out and the interactions between the legends and this younger Martin Stein because, you know, they could save him. They could save him and Martin might not die in the future. So they, I think that's maybe what Jax is going for. As they do say in the synopsis that Jack, like Jax finds a loophole that could like change history. So maybe that's what it involves because obviously Jax had such a connection to Martin Stein. And the rest of the legends did, but obviously Jax's was so much more. So I think this will once again pull at the emotional heartstrings. Like the crossover was emotional enough as it is with all the Martin and Jack stuff. So I think this episode might not be as emotional, but definitely make you feel something similar. So it's definitely going to be a tough watch in these parts with the younger Martin Stein. Now, Malice, this person that we've been like hearing about for a while now in the past couple of episodes, he has been actually rumored to be in this episode, like the first physical appearance by Malice. We've heard him a couple of times through Nora Dark or Eleanor Dark specifically, um, and the big rumor was that he was going to be appearing for the first time in this episode. And that's why Constantine appears. Now that rumor could still be true, but I'm pretty sure they actually confirmed it that we will be seeing him first in episode 10, but big, but this doesn't mean it might not be a cliffhanger. The cliffhanger could be in like the last five minutes or something of this episode. We actually see malice for the first time, which I think would be a pretty cool cliffhanger to leave on because I'm interested to see what he looks like. If you look up Malice, like from DC Comics, I think that's what they're going for. I think he's Mollus or something from the comics. I can't remember, but he looks really threatening. He's like basically a demon. So yeah, I'm sort of excited to see what they do with him, whether it's all CGI or if it actually is like a guy in makeup. I think they might go CGI, just seems a bit better, but they might make him like all foggy, bit smoky. So it's not just like this physical, like, you know, with skin and stuff like that. Like it almost looks like a mist around him and like, uh, I don't know how to like almost like a spirit if that makes sense. So I'm interested to, interested to see what they do with him and how they present him. But I'm just so excited to finally see him because I want to see how threatening he is and how much of a challenge it is going to be for the legends to take him down. Now, as I did say, this is the mid-season finale. So what follows the mid-season finale? Well, the mid-season premiere. As I said, that's episode 10 where we will have Constantine and Citizen Cold in the episodes again. Unfortunately, Legends will not be returning the same time as the other DC TV shows. They return basically right in the middle of January. Legends won't be returning until some day date in, in February, might I say, and they haven't actually confirmed that yet because Black Lightning will be replacing Legends time slot after the flash. So Legends will be moving to another day and another time, which they haven't confirmed yet, but we should get that in the next hopefully couple of weeks. And I will try and give that to you guys as soon as I can. I'll probably try and do a bonus Legends video and let you know when it's coming back. Or you can just Google it maybe, you know, around the time Flash comes back and you should be able to find the answer. But if not, I'll try and let you guys know. But yeah, it's changing dates after Flash to another day. It might go on the same day as Supergirl, like after Supergirl, or maybe after or before Arrow. I don't know what they're going to do. It's going to be interesting because um, I don't really like it when shows change like time slots mid-season. It's a bit weird. It worked for Legends last season, but it worked because it went after Flash. So I think that's the reason it worked, but now it's moving away from Flash. So... I don't know what's going on there. I'll let you know as soon as possible, as I said, when it does get confirmed where it's going. But until then, it's a bit of a mystery. But thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it would be awesome if you could drop a like on the video to show your support. Let me know in the comment section down below what you're looking forward to most in this episode. I'm expecting a lot of Constantine and or maybe even Citizen Cold references or answers, might I say. Maybe even the Vikings. A lot of you guys might be looking to the Vikings. Uh, as the most important part or most interesting part of the episode. But yeah, leave your opinions in the comment section down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I'll catch you later, guys. Goodbye.